All right, good evening, good morning, and good afternoon. Whatever it is, wherever you are, I hope you're having a good one. Uh, tonight, uh, we will be tying a peeping caddis variation. Uh, now, Simple Fly have brought out a whole range of uh, new materials for for the year, and there's some really cool stuff amongst it. As always, they've uh, smashed it for six, or American fans hit it out of the field, or out of the park. Um, but this one will be using the gel core body micro threads. Uh, it's a really cool, cool, funky material. Uh, we're using black for the body, but they've brought it out in a whole range of colours. Um, a couple here, a couple different olive colours. Uh, I believe there's some sort of whites and pinks as well. Uh, also, be using English partridge uh, for the little uh, stuff sticking out there. And then we'll be using one of the other new materials, uh, which is the body rib. Uh, now we'll be using it in olive. It's pretty, pretty funky, pretty cool. Uh, but they've also brought that out in a whole range of colours. Uh, I found this uh, root beer colour here works quite well for caddis as well. But then there's pinks, which I've used on bodies for you know, salt water pens like gotchas. I've got chartreuse, a pearl or a white, I think it is. Yeah, white. Yeah, but a whole range of colours. They've, they've really done a great job on the uh, new stuff they've brought out. But the first thing that came to mind for me when I uh, got my hands on it was to try one of these. Uh, I've got a gold bead for these ones just because I wanted a few with gold, but I've also been tying them with black beads as well or adjust it to whatever colour you need. But uh, we'll get into it and uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy. Alright, yeah, I hooked it as a Kamasan B175. Uh, this is on the bigger end of what I tied them, but it's a size 12. And we've got a 2.5mm tungsten gold bead. Now you can, of course, go bigger or smaller if you wanted to. And we're just going to put a base layer of thread on there. Now I'm just using brown nano silk. Um, the end of it, you can't really see it anyway. Um, it's a nice, strong uh, thread for the job. And you just want to build up that base layer of uh, uh, thread just until you get to just into the top of the bend of the hook. And from there, just cut away your tag end. Alright, the little caddis head sticking out. We're using that uh, olive body rib. Now you notice as you cut it, it gets quite square. A little hard to tell, but a little bit frayed as well. But if you look at caddis, no, they've got a darker head and it's more that uh, tapered uh, sort of head as well to get the right effect. So I do, a trusty lighter. And hopefully I won't botch this too much, but you just want to burn it and just give it a squeeze. If you're not happy with it, uh, you can just get rid of some of the excess on there. Just trim it off. Just keep playing until you get the shape uh, that you want. That's a bit better. You can kind of see it takes that little tapered end, a little bit dark head. And it's going to be your caddis uh, poking its little head out of there. Now generally, I try not to cut too much off. You don't want to waste too much. So I'll just cut off a little segment like that. So I've got a little bit of excess, but not too much. And Make sure it hangs out probably half a half a hook shank over the uh, top of the bend of the hook and then just get it tied in. Just get it secured to begin with. If it wants to wiggle around, that's okay. Now just squeeze it in, pinch it in. Once it's secure, you can just really bind down on it. These materials, hopefully you can see, there's like a really nice um, shine to it. It's just probably going to play with the camera a little bit, but yeah, really cool material. Alright, for the little uh, legs sticking out the back of it, uh, we're going to use English Partridge. Now I've just prepared the feather uh, similar way to I have in other videos if you go back to some of those other soft tackled ones very very well pretty much the same only difference is when we tie it in 
I want to look for the spot where it's I can be sure that some of them are sticking back out uh, beyond it it's about there I guess it's about a, a third of the way back from the uh, the bead and we just take that little tip and we've taken off the underside of the hackle and just secure it in once you've got it in there you can just uh, take your scissors and snip it away and then good old hackle pliers and you can kind of see that uh, that flash coming in there a little bit more just like a hot spot on steroids in many ways it's uh, really really cool and just start wrapping that like you would a you know, soft tackle only it's uh, about half the way down the body and just keep wrapping it around try to keep it roughly about the same spot probably going to trap a few but it's okay because we're going to actually end up uh, tying these all back and down over top of the um, little caddisy little body rib sticking out the back there so once we've got that secured in get rid of that don't worry it looks quite messy but that's all good we just fold them back over the head sticking out there and sometimes they'll wrap around it nicely sometimes they'll poke over the top uh, it doesn't have to be perfect we're just looking for it sticking out over top of that body rib like the legs peeking out as well as the the head of the caddis that's a cool effect and then I just catch the end of the, the feather and tie it down all right on to the uh, last bit of material all right micro fritz I'll just take a little strand of it like that you can see it's got little little things sticking off there which just give it a bit of shine and uh, shimmer in the water it's really cool and I appreciate this isn't going to be the most natural uh, looking uh, caddis out there but I found sometimes especially uh, well I can only talk about my experience here in New Zealand but on like the uh, Tongariro a little bit of flash and stuff like that can uh, catch the rainbow's attention and there's value to it. It doesn't always have to be a super realistic looking fly. Sometimes impressionistic can be uh, just as effective and uh, sometimes that something that flashes and annoys them can uh, work just as well too. But once you've got that tied in, you're just going to wrap it up like any other uh, chenille uh, you might use and just keep going all the way up until we get to the top there just get nice and tight uh, behind the bead and again you don't have to use a gold bead I've been doing these in gold and black it's just I uh, had a few more spots and a lot less gold beads so I was like oh, I'll put a couple more in um, it can just be used as like sort of an attractor, but okay, it's a new material, so I haven't really had a chance to fish with it yet, or fish with it at all. Um, but I'm excited about it. I'm looking forward to seeing how it goes, because I figured I'd share it with you all. And you can just clip that off. Right, and last but not least, uh, good old wet finish. And just couple wraps and glue it if you want I'm not going to worry and there you have it the peeping caddis it's definitely a pattern I am uh, quite looking forward to uh, trying out a bit more um, sorry couldn't really see it there but a little peeping caddis um, but yeah again it's some of the new products from uh, Semperfly, uh, some really really cool stuff. Uh, you got that 
uh, gel core body micro frets uh, using the black stuff and the body rib which is one of their other new ones uh, it's just got some really cool sparkle and shine in there that I think is going to be uh, really effective but as always hope you've enjoyed uh, if you are inclined to post stuff on social media by all means tag me in it I'd love to see what you're doing but otherwise happy tying hope you enjoy it and all the best cheers see you next time